My name is Gwen, and I grew up in the LDS Church, also known as the Mormon Church. And um, I'm, you know, officially have been a Christian follower of Jesus as of a year ago. My name is Ishmael. So, uh, grew up of uh, brothers and sisters of six. I was the youngest, South Phoenix. So, rough neighborhood. Um, just was a rebel. <laughs> and uh, just took that bad route of uh, hanging out with bad friends, you know, doing a lot of bad stuff. Yeah, I grew up a military brat, so I have moved around about 14 times, you know, had a lot of inconsistencies growing up, but I always had the Mormon church kind of as my anchor, right? Because everywhere I moved, it was it was always there, it was always um, familiar to me. And growing up in the Mormon church, there's this one scripture that's kind of their key point, their keynote, key scripture, and it's basically, um, it says, you are saved after all you can do. And I truly believed that. And it was a big stress in my life, honestly. Um, I did everything and I never felt like I was there though. I, I never felt like I was truly saved. I always wondered. And it's just, it's hard, you know? In my childhood, uh, I ran into a substance to uh, heal that pain, to not feel anything. And uh, that took me to my rock bottom. That's when my sister invited me here to Redemption Tempe. You know, a few of the pastors prayed over me and uh, felt that healing, that pain, that everything that was hovering over me over these 20 plus years. And uh, just all that pain let go. My senior year of high school, I started working at a Mormon-owned wedding gown shop, and I worked there for about two years. And the last year that I worked there, I had a new coworker, and I noticed that she was wearing a cross necklace, and that was very out of you know out of the ordinary. Everyone there was Mormon. I was Mormon at the time, <laughs> um, but I got really excited because I was like, maybe I can ask her a couple questions about like the Trinity and uh, just a couple other concepts that I've heard before, but I really couldn't really grasp. And once I started asking her those questions, I just couldn't stop. I mean, she was so excited to share with me as well. And eventually um, I started going to Christian churches. It was amazing. It was right when COVID hit. It was during that time actually I found redemption through Google Maps. It was amazing. <laughs> um, I just found it and I went. I thought this looks cool. Um, I haven't stopped going since, so it was a good decision. Uh, since coming here to Redemption, I've uh, been uh, encountering a lot of good people, a lot of people that care about me. Pastor John, who's been uh, mentoring me, took me under his wing. Um, so yeah, I've just been going through a lot of good changes, uh, going to celebrate recovery starting a step study. Um, just my family is happier since we encountered Jesus here at Redemption Tempe. I'm excited for what's gonna happen next. You know, later down the road, I wanna get baptized. Go so, for that. Yeah, I remember Though the, the, I mean, even still, I, I'm just still mind blown every time I, I hear a sermon or read the Bible, but especially the first couple times I went to Christian uh, church services, I just remember feeling the overwhelming just grace and just peace knowing that I'm enough. There's no checklist or things, amount of things that I can do to make me worthy of God's love. I'm already worthy of it. And I just, have to love him and um, I still have a hard time sometimes understanding that because I want if I fight against it right because my natural reaction is just to go back 
to how I was in the past and be like, okay, what can I do? Like, you know, physically and stuff to show that God that I'm worthy enough, but there's nothing, you know? And it's a really wonderful, overwhelming, just freeness that I have, <laughs> you know? I'm, I'm free and I'm saved and I'm happy. And because of that, I love others more. I love myself more and I love God more. So um, yeah, and I'll continue to, to do that.